Hey, out of our one-year Bible reading today, I'm going to take a passage from Mark chapter 9. In verses 18 and 19 and then 20 through to 24, it says, And whenever the Spirit seizes him, it throws him violently to the ground. Then he foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. So I asked your disciples to cast out the evil spirit, but they couldn't do it. Jesus said to them, You faithless people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. The spirit often throws him into the fire or water trying to kill him. Have mercy on us and help us if you can. What do you mean, if I can, Jesus asked. Anything is possible if a person believes. The father instantly cried out, I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. You know, there are three phrases in this encounter that Jesus has with the father of the demon-possessed boy that, that draw my attention. The first one is this, you faithless people, how long must I put up with you? You know, this doesn't really sound like the picture of Jesus that we like to paint of him. We want Jesus to be eternally patient, infinitely kind and universally gentle. What we have here is a snapshot that doesn't quite seem to fit. Well, there must be something wrong with Jesus. Or there must be something wrong with the gospel writer. There couldn't possibly be anything wrong with our image of what we think Jesus is like. Hmm. Well, number two, have mercy on us. And help us, if you can. Oops. <laughs> Apparently, uh, that was the wrong thing to say to Jesus. He immediately jumps on this statement. If I can? What do you mean, if I can? Now, granted, the man was under an immense amount of stress and pressure. But it was likely... Also, his true feeling, which leads to the third statement. I believe, help my unbelief. And there we have it. Probably no truer declaration of faith has ever been made. I believe, somewhat. Help me overcome the lingering unbelief that I'm experiencing. That's basically what the man says. Yeah, I can relate to this kind of faith because it's exactly where I tend to find myself most days. I believe in you. Help me overcome the areas where I struggle to believe in you. Pray with me. Father, today, I pray like the father of the demon-possessed boy, I do believe that there are some areas where I still struggle. Help me in those areas. Help me overcome my unbelief. Lord, there are times where I am part of a faithless group, and I'm sure you get tired of dealing with us. But Lord, I pray today that you would walk us through those times and help our faith in you to grow. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.